So we need to understand what is Web 1, Web 2 and Web 3. In this chapter, we're going to discuss about what is Web3 and decentralization technology. The internet has come a long way since it was first invented. Therefore, we need to understand what is Web1, Web2 and Web3 and what's the difference. Web1 was all about static web pages that were read only and user could not interact with the content. This era was characterized by simply HTML website and search engine like Yahoo and Alta Vista in the late 1990s. So here comes the Web2 emerge and the internet become more interactive and social. This era was marked by the rise of social media platform like Facebook and Twitter, where user could create and share their own content. And now we are at the Web3 space, which is the future of the internet. And it will be all about artificial intelligence and machine learning and ownership and decentralizations. Web3 will make it possible for machines to understand and interpret human language and it will allow for more personalized and intuition experience online. The develop of the internet has been shaped by many important people, including Tim Berners-Lee, who invented the World Wide Web, and Mark Zuckerberg, who founded Facebook. And the main difference between centralized and decentralized technology is the control and distribution of the data. In the current world, is centralized system. A single entity has control over the data. While in decentralized system, which is going to happen, data is spread out among multiple nodes in the network. This means that in a decentralized system, there is no single point of failure or control, making it more secure and resistant to censorship or temporary.